A few of the Blackmagic cameras, they support B4 lenses and adjusting iris of your B4 lens, but quite a few of the, their cameras doesn't. And if you're in that situation, your own cameras on which you need to use broadcast lenses with uh, a, B4, a B4 broadcast lens and a HiRose 12 connector, and it doesn't support, the, the camera doesn't support uh, adjusting iris of your lens, then you would be happy to know that we have products that uh, bridge this gap. And um, we have had for a long time the Ethernet B4 link. So maybe let's start a look at that. We see it right here. And these drawings are taken out from our white paper on um, Blackmagic camera topologies. And uh, here you see basically um, the basic um, assumption is that you have SDI signals going back to your camera. You also have an SDI signal coming from your camera, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't do live TV. But then you also have an Ethernet cable going to your camera. It goes into the Ethernet B4 link box. And the Ethernet B4 link box has a HiRose 12 connector on it. So your B4 lens can connect to this box. And then the Ethernet B4 link box will manage the iris of your lens by issuing an analog value between 2.5 volt and 7.5 volt, depending on the iris value. So it will drive the servo on your lens. It will also power the lens with 12 volt, by the way. So that's how basically the Ethernet B4 link box works. It also features stuff like Tally, GPI out, and a few other features. So recently we made a new version of this one, which assumes that you don't want to run the Ethernet cable to your camera, but uh, instead you take the 3G SDI return you have and route that into the SDI before link box. So instead of Ethernet, you simply run the SDI cable into it. And then from that box up to your camera, you have a small patch cable to move the uh, SDI signal into the camera as well, which uh, you want to do because you probably want to shade your camera using uh, one of our controllers, for instance. So the SDI before link box will help you um, to, to do this. It works in, in that respect, just like the Ethernet before link box. Some people, they have a fiber infrastructure and if they work with the uh, Blackmagic uh, studio cameras, which has a fiber port in it, then they have a problem with this product. If you have Ursa Mini products and so on, you would have to have a fiber converter anyway, close to the camera. And that would be something like, um, for instance, a uh, Blackmagic, uh, what is it called, camera converter, I think. So this, this silver uh, looking product that takes the, the dual fiber coming into it and then it has SDI in and out that goes to the camera. And um, so in that case, you basically, yeah, so basically what you need to do is to look at this drawing and see that with any of these cameras using fiber, you need a converter box and all that does is basically to provide you with a coax SDI uh, connections. So it's, it's this topology over here that is just moved into a little smaller space in this drawing uh, we see um, on the screen right now. And uh, you can say that it's a bit of a shame with the studio camera that you don't get to use the fiber port on the camera itself. But if you want our solutions, this is how you, you got to take it. Now, there's also a, um, another option, and that is remote, uh, sorry, um, simply wireless. Yeah, so you want wireless control, and that's what we show in the final quadrant of this drawing. So over Wi-Fi, over a Wi-Fi network, this box will receive shading data for your camera. It will receive not only shading data for the iris, so as you can see in the drawing, it will generate the analog voltage for your B4 lens, but it will also over Wi-Fi receive shading data for the camera itself. So you can adjust uh, gain and uh, sensor, this and that, shutter speeds, all these things will be output on the SDI out of the Wi-Fi B4 link box. So this will es essentially enable you to have um, either yeah, wirelessly controlled cameras that could be like uh, mobile cameras. It could be some in a, in a remote place where you don't want to uh, move cables to. It could be a, a cable camera, for instance, uh, which is where we have seen it used a few times. And um, 
In this box, you even have uh, some other powerful features, not related to lens control, though. But that is the, the outputs for servo motors, so you could place it on a pan tilt head as well. And that's also embedded in this uh, document. But that's a side note in this case, because the main um, point of this small video is to outline the various options you have of lens control in case you don't get it directly supported from your Blackmagic camera.